Sending review requests automatically. Sending review requests is the most effective way to get your own reviews, and with them, verified purchase reviews. So let's get to it. First, I'm gonna click on request and review requests. Because it's my first time here, there's this guided tour, which helps me explain a bit about what we're gonna be doing. So let's break it down. So this is the journey. When an order gets fulfilled, there is some time that goes in between uh, when the product gets shipped until it, it is delivered. This is an important thing to consider when scheduling reviews, but we'll get into that later on. You see, making sure that a review request email is sent only after the customer has received their order is very important. And we've got two ways of doing that. One is by far the better method, but we're gonna explore both of them. Here, you can see it says coupon optional. That's because you could send review requests without offering coupons to your customers, but we highly recommend offering coupons in exchange for writing a review as this doubles the likelihood of customers writing reviews. And you want to get reviews, right? That's the whole point. All right, let's move on. So the app sort of shows me around, right? This is where you'll find the review request that you've sent. This is where you edit the automation settings. And here is another very important option bulk schedule this is important when you've just installed the app and you could benefit from sending review requests to all your past orders all right let's mess with the automation settings a bit that's where all the fun is at first let's look at the email template the first things you see are the sender and the name uh, that's the name of your store and from which email address uh, the emails are going to be sent from. This should ideally be your store's email. Onto the subject line. The subject line is what your customers will see as the subject of the email. It's one of the most important parts of any email marketing campaign, as it determines to some degree whether or not they'll open the email. Now, see these weird things here where it says customer name and product name? Those are merge tags. What that means is that they're standing in for information that is going to get pulled before sending the review request. And the customer will see, uh, well, their name and the name of the product they purchased instead. When you click on edit design, you can customize the body of the email to make it sound like uh, like your store and not some generic text. It's important to customize this as it should reflect the same identity as your customers perceive from your store, right? Now, this part over here between brackets, you see it? That's a conditional merge tag. That means that it will only show up if some condition is met. In this case, the condition is if there are coupons available. So, if you've run out of coupons, this part won't show up and you don't have to worry about it. Let's save our changes and go back. Here, you can edit SMS if you're also sending out requests that way. Printed QR code requests with order printer apps. And here, you can create coupons. We'll, we'll get into that another time. Let's schedule when the review request is going to be sent. So, by default, it's set to 14 days for domestic orders and 21 for international. That seems right, but you've got to adjust this to fit the delivery times of your store. Ideally, a review request should arrive about three days after your customer has received their order. So think about how long it takes for your product to reach your customer and adjust accordingly. But there's another way. With Aftership, you can keep track of when orders are delivered and set it up so that review requests are sent three days after your customers have received their order, or whatever number of days you think is adequate. I mean, three days is just by default. So let's do that. Let's click on Configure. Click on Enable Aftership Integration. Now let's go to the Aftership app. 
Here, on the lower left corner, click on Settings and click on API Keys. And simply copy it and paste it over on the Alpini app. That's it. Now we have nothing to worry about. No review requests will be sent to customers that haven't received their orders yet.